Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to learn how to send program changes to Apple MainStage from the Phantom using the scenes. All right, let's get started. So first off, before we can begin, we need to make sure that we go to Roland's website and we go to Products, Synthesizers, and we go ahead and choose Performance Workstation. Choose any of the Phantoms here. And then we go down to the very bottom, I'll go fast to the bottom, and we go ahead and go to Downloads. What we're looking for here is to make sure that we have the necessary drivers for your computer. So whether you're using a Mac or a Windows, there are the drivers here. Currently in my Mac, I am using Operating System 10.15. So go ahead and download and install those if you haven't already. If you need further assistance on how to install drivers, there is a video in this playlist that you can reference. Okay, so now that we have our drivers installed, everything is good to go, let's open up Main Stage. For our example here, we're gonna use one of the pre-done concerts. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Alchemy uh, concert right here. And on the audio input, I'm going to choose Phantom right here. A uh, quick note at my Phantom, if I press Menu, I go into the system, on my Phantom, I have it set for vendor mode, which allows the Phantom to send audio and MIDI back and forth over USB. This is how I'm doing this, and this something's pretty cool. So if you're not sure about that, this is the way to do it. Another way, if you just wanted to run a MIDI from USB back and forth, you can put the Phantom in generic mode, and that'll work as well. But in this example, I'm using taking full advantage of the Phantom's uh, USB audio MIDI uh, as an interface. All right, so now that we have that, uh, another thing that I went ahead and did is I set up a template inside the Phantom. You don't have to do this every time, but right now while you're learning this, it's, it's not a bad idea to have a template. So all I did was I just uh, chose an internal scene, uh, an initialized scene, I'm sorry, and then I just went ahead and saved that scene and renamed it as MS Template. So that's what I have right here. Uh, another thing is I went ahead and made sure that I have, I'm using channel one in this example. Technically, you can use any of the channels for the externals, but on this example, I'm using channel one, and I turned it green. Normally, it's red, which red means internal, internal sound engine. Green means external. All I have to do to go from red to green Press and hold shift, hit the button. It's going to go red for internal, green for external, and yellow, which is going to go both internal and external, which that's something we'll explore in a future video. So here we go, green. So now the Phantom is sending external out of the Phantom into main stage. All right, let's go ahead and start main stage. Okay, now that we're in main stage, let's go ahead and see if the Phantom is truly triggering main stage. It should be, but let's go ahead and uh, tr touch the keys. And there it is. It is It is set already in here. Uh, if I wanted to, I went ahead and set, if I want to, I can go ahead and set maybe this to be the volume right there, the output. Very easy to do. Okay, so all I'm going to do is go to Layout. And I'm going to touch this right here, make sure that's selected. And I'm going to say learn. And I'm just going to give it a wiggle, as they say. So now take it off a sign, and it is on there. Check that out. I also went ahead on the MIDI ports. I made sure the Phantom was selected. Uh, it did come in as all, so I went ahead and said Phantom. And for my example, I'm going ahead and put it on channel one. If you're an unsure and you, or if you want to have multiple channels from the Phantom going to main stage, which you can do, and we're going to explore later, uh, you could go ahead and have it channel one through sixteen. But for this example, let's go ahead and just do channel one. That's fine. All right, great. And I think we are set. So now let's go to the edit, and let's go back over here to where we have some of our different sounds. All right. So now the Phantom should be set up. And if you look right now, this fader is uh, assigned to that output. Very cool, very easy. All right, now let's get into the point of the video and let's have the Phantom uh, send program changes from a scene to main stage. All right, very easy, check this out. So over here on the left side, when I click on these, notice this is normally where you go to your patch library and choose your patches, but I can also come into here and hit attributes. Once I hit attributes, it's going to say bank select and program change. 
Uh, just so you know, the bank selects on uh, main stage is from 0 to 127, and the phantoms, the Rollins, are from 1 to 128, so they're off minus 1, okay? So they're off on 1. Uh, what I went ahead and did, so the program changes were in line. I went ahead and went to main stage preferences, and let's go into uh, MIDI right now. And on the program change range, I had two choices, 0 to 127 or 1 to 128. Since the Rollins do 1 to 128, that's what I've chosen here. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. And now I'm going to go inside my Phantom Shift, hit Zone Select, and it's going to take me to this screen right here. All right, so there we go. I go ahead, I can use these knobs, and it automatically went down into the external green going outside just remember that and if i wanted to i could go ahead and name it main stage i, I did go into here and i highlighted uh right here and i did go inside i just called it ms but so i just know that's where it is it's up to you you don't have to do that but it's something kind of cool next i'm going to go ahead and go down a little bit and here's where all the fun happens i'm going to press enter and i can choose what midi where the midi gets transported out of here so i can go midi out one or midi out two because the phantom has two midi outs or usb or all of the above the cool thing about the phantom is that we can go ahead and have phantom communicating over usb and out of out one and out of out two all simultaneously so if you have external midi devices plus a computer the phantom can be kind of like your midi octopus and kind of send all this information to everybody this is pretty cool all right so that's what we have uh, I'm transmitting on channel 1. That's what I told it, but I could have done it uh, 1 through 16. But for this example, we just kept it 1. And remember I told you that the bank selects are their 0 to 127, where a Roland Phantom is 1 through 128. So that would mean they're minus 1, so that would make them 0 and 0. And now I go to program change, which I have set, I preset inside main stage to... Uh, 1 through 128, so it matches the Rollins, and now I should be able to spin the wheel, and it should change. Now, notice mine isn't changing. Why is that? Okay, here's another thing that you might want to be aware of. All right, I'm going to come back into the main stage right here, go to Preferences, and go to MIDI. So, you know, I might need to reset the MIDI, so I'm going to go to Setup, and I'm going to go ahead and take it from Default to Phantom Vendor, let it initialize, let's go back, and now let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and close. Let the Veach Volleyball of Death spin for a second. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. All right, now I'll go ahead and close it out. Now let's see if it works, the program change. Okay, it's not working, so no problem. I need to reset it. I'll go back there. And I already have the audio MIDI up, so I don't need to do that. I'm going to go back down to default. And good, and now everything should work. So now we have it all set. So now the Phantom can go ahead and send program changes to main stage. And I'm doing it this way uh, with just one with just one scene. But now that we understand this, now let's go ahead and save uh, some various scenes with different uh, main stage patches saved in those scenes. Now, when I say saved, it's not saving the actual uh, patch. It's saving the program change, the location of that patch uh, inside Phantom. And as long as that co particular concert is called up and the Phantom uh, is cooked up correctly, it's going to do that for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Let's say write. Now, I'm not going to write over this template. I'm going to hit scene and I'm going to rename it. So let's go ahead and clear all. And I might call this one MS for main stage, just so I know. And I'm going to call it uh, abbreviated ANL. So A N L. Okay, great. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it right here on this initialized scene. Okay, great. Now that I have that one there, I'm going to go back into my zone select and let's find another one. Maybe I want to do the Celestial Voices, okay? And now I'm going to press right and Scene, and I'll put this one over here, but I'm going to rename this one. Let's call this one uh, Clear All MS, and I think this one, uh, we'll call it uh, 
C, and then we'll call it Vox, okay, for voices, okay, cool. And now that is saved right there. Great, and now let's do just one more. I'm going to go back into this one, and I'm, I'm going back into these scenes because as I have kind of some templates or some other scenes, I can actually go ahead and build upon those scenes and kind of have some fun. Now, on this one, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to find something here like this. We're going to use this sun glitter pad, and I have that there. And remember, we go ahead and we do have the output mapped to this knob right here, which is fine. I'm going to have that, but on this one, I'm going to turn on an internal sound, red. So I'll go ahead and select this. So that is that. And let's go ahead and just take a listen. I'm going to choose an electric piano. That quick, I actually have them layered together. So now we have a... And I can adjust my volume. Very quick in there. Now let's save that in there. So I'll press right, uh, scene, and that one is the sun glitters pad. I'll rename it, clear all. I'll call it MS. Uh, sun glitter pad and I'll go to my forward slash and we'll just do EP okay great just so we know all right and I'll move it to the same the next spot not the same great okay so now we have three different uh, main stage patches within this concert saved to three different scenes let's take it one step further let's have some more fun I'm gonna go to edit on one and I'm gonna adjust the scene color I'll write it. This can, you can have so much fun with this. I have this one there. That one's written. Now I'll go to this one, do another quick edit, change the different zone, zone color. There we go, like a uh, purple. Great, we'll go ahead and save that one and we'll do one more here. And edit, scene color, and I'll go ahead and put this one like that. Uh, yeah, that color there. Okay, great. Okay, so now that we have that, watch what we have going. I have all these different scenes, and as I select the scenes, main stage is changing. This is pretty cool. That easy. Now, if we wanted to, we could go a step further since we have these scenes, and we could take advantage of scene chain. Very quickly, I choose a scene chain. I can come into here and say edit, and I can go ahead and start adding different scenes. So if I wanted to go ahead and add uh, D, and I can go ahead and move over, and I can say, all right, select that one there. I can go to this next one, select scene. I can say, okay, let's put this one here. And then I can take full advantage of uh, the scene selects. Pretty cool, just having uh, the scene chains in there. So now I'm actually changing uh, patches in main stage right from the phantom and I can do it on the screen or also by just using the scene changes by hitting the uh, buttons right here. So that's pretty cool. So so give this a shot. It's actually really, really cool that you can go ahead and use the phantom and you can use only main stage if you want, but if you choose, you can actually come into here and say, I wanna go ahead and combine main stage with phantom sounds very quick and very easy all right you guys check this out i hope it helps you take care and we'll talk to you later